Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Health Trust TV. And today for our cooking segment, we're joined by Chef Matt Mermod from Catered 2. And we're gonna be kicking off the segment by going over what we'll be eating today. Hi, right, thanks for having me. So today we have a gluten-free pasta with lemon, and shredded chicken and just a variety of different vegetables. And, oh, the uh, different vegetables, different colors, they look great. Why don't I, okay. uh, are, those, are those different colored cauliflower? They are actually, uh, it's uh, purple, orange, and green cauliflower. Oh. They wow. taste all exactly the same, same textures, just uh, different colors. Sounds good, uh, sounds so good. So we also have some uh, garlic, red onion, and some zucchini, red and yellow pear tomatoes. And uh, we're gonna be finishing it with some uh, lemon zest and lemon juice. Okay, so this is uh, something quite easy and quick to cook, right? Absolutely. Is that what we're doing with the Absolutely, pasta? Absolutely, yeah. So, I mean, the pasta's already pre cooked, but, you know, boiling water, cooking pasta, seven, eight minutes. Um, and all the vegetables are really uh, quick to quick to cook, um, depending on how you like them. I like all my, you know, my vegetables uh, crunchy and So do you and, boil uh, them or do you saute them? Uh, or how it's do you all sauteed, cook all in one, one, one pot. So okay. one, one pot, one pan dish. Makes so all the vegetables are, yeah. are raw then? Absolutely. Great. Yeah, except the onions right now I, because of time. So we're just starting with some uh, chopped garlic and I have some caramelized onion. That's already mm. been cooked. So, and I like to start with some of the cauliflowers because they take a little bit longer to cook. Okay. Um, and then the easy way to do this too, we do at home all the time, is to use uh, rotisserie chicken. Okay. And just oh, pull okay. that. Now it's already already cooked, ready Shortens to go. Shortens the prep time. Huh? Exactly. Makes everything easier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I'm gonna go with some purple. Mm, starting to smell good already. Yeah. yeah. It's so colorful. So you can sub any vegetables you like, asparagus, uh, broccoli, um, you know, mushrooms if you like. So you're, you're starting with the, the vegetables that take longer to cook and then exactly. kind of work them in. Exactly. Okay. So for this demo, I did pre-blanch the cauliflower. Okay. Because the cauliflower does take about, you know, seven, Eight minutes. Mm -hmm. So that so those are pre-cooked a little bit. So is there a substitution that you would use for vegetarian? Um, you know, for, for more protein, uh, you can definitely use some garbanzo bean, oh, okay. some tofu is always okay. good if you like that. Yeah. Um, you know, even uh, throw in some some quinoa. That sounds great. You know, yeah. Put a little crunch. Very little healthy. Texture. Well, I'm a meat guy, so I'm ready yeah. for the chicken. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm excited. Nice. So any specific types of uh, marinade or anything on your chicken, or is it more just by you know, your choice this is, of taste? This is really just a salt and pepper uh, crust of chicken, but you can do any kind of flavor you'd like. Okay. Um, you know, I really like to let the lemon stand out. It just brightens it all up. Um, then I'll hit this with some chicken stock. Chicken stock? Looks so healthy. And some white wine. Mmm. Mm. Okay, so this is basically the sauce for the pasta too. There's no, there's no tomato sauce. There's no cream. Very nice. Um, very healthy. Yeah. Very easy, which very is important. Easy. It holds yeah. us guys, right? It holds <laughs> up really well too. Um, and it'll last in this state after it's been cooked. You know, a good three days. So three days. You can always just pop it in the microwave. That's good. So for someone that's on the go. Yeah, yeah I think that's really important is, is having some food prep that you makes, know, and literally makes it, it easier. It should take no more than 15 to 20 minutes. To Quick and easy. Yeah. Especially if you have a rotisserie chicken. Yeah. 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 So at the Most last, stores nowadays, are you, you can buy those pre-cooked, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's finish it with some tomato. And... Yeah. Some lemon zest. Very nice. And you don't want to go too deep with this. You want to just go with the very outer layer. Okay. And how come you don't want to go too deep? Well, if, then you get into the white pit. Oh, and that gets okay. really bitter. Oh. So this is really just the oils and the essence and the flavor of the lemon. And a 
lemon juice. How's it smelling? It's smelling great, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're getting anxious to try it out. Right. Right. <laughs> and I've never seen that technique that you just did with the lemon. Is that to keep the seeds in? Exactly, yeah. Great. Yeah. So, just a little bit of salt to finish. It smells great. Salt, pepper. Wow. That's pretty much it. Well, that was quick wow, and easy. Wow, that was very easy. <laughs> Yeah, my, my stuff doesn't look as pretty at home. I gotta start adding more color, I guess. Yeah, huh? yeah it, it helps. You know, you eat with your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was really one of my wife's recipes and dishes that she came up at home. And we alternate vegetables all the time, whatever whatever's in season, whatever she can get. That's great. Um, and then we like to finish it with a little fresh parmesan. One of my favorite parts, the cheese. All right. <laughs> You know, children will love this because it's so oh, colorful. My, my kids eat this up. Yeah. And we do. We cook this probably about once a week at home. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times we do leave the chicken out and just eat it uh, vegetarian style. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I just need a little bit more black, black pepper. That's it. Wow. wow that I never great. knew a dish could be that easy to yeah. make. Well, that's awesome. Well, it smells great. It smells great. It looks great. It's healthy. Um, I'm Italian, so I'm enjoying the pasta and the chicken. <laughs> nice. The cauliflower looks good. Um, any other special ingredients that you might add to kind of change it up? But you said you can do any type of seasonal vegetables, right? Absolutely. Um, mushrooms, eggplant. Um, you know, some beets are always nice. Oh, Perfect. that would that be sounds really good. colorful. Well, Matt, thank you so much for coming in. This Absolutely. looks amazing. Thank you. Um, thank we, you we're really excited to try it once we get some silverware. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going to dig into that. All right. Thanks again, Matt, for your cooking demo. We My really pleasure. appreciate it. And stay tuned for we have more coming up here at Health Trust TV.